Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in to another episode of Mods to Rise. Today, I'm going to be featuring this beautiful M5 competition. And I'm going to show you guys this spec. I doubt that anybody else out there has this spec in particular because this one was built out out in Germany. I guess the first thing that you can notice is that you can notice the beautiful paint and this is not a wrap this is an actual paint from BMW it's called Arctic Grey frozen Arctic Grey as you can see it has a beautiful sheen to it when the sun hits it it almost looks like it has a pearl or pearlescent finish and like I mentioned, this is a M5 competition. So different from the regular M5 is that the engine's a little bit different. This has, it's a 4.4 liter V8 twin turbo, pushing out 617 horsepower with a little bit over 550 foot pounds of torque. And the height of this M5 competition is a little bit lower than the stock one. The suspension is different than the regular M5. This one does not have the, the carbon ceramic brakes, but it still brakes pretty well. It's got the carbon fiber front splitters. And these wheels are also different from the regular M5. I believe these wheels are about four pounds lighter than the original M5. The interior, the seats look like a piece of art. This is called the Alcoa Brown Leather. And I love these seats because you can adjust them even the width. You can adjust that. The gauges, very similar to the Trackhawk, they're digital. It just has this um, silver bezel right here. The transmission is also very similar to the Trackhawks. It's a single uh, or single clutch transmission. As a matter of fact, I think this car is actually faster than my Trackhawk. Weighing in at 4,300 pounds curb weight track hawk is like around 5400 somewhere around there you got the beautiful carbon fiber splitter or wings and since this is an m5 competition it comes with a tuned exhaust it's got this beautiful splitter in the rear and it sounds absolutely amazing this spec happens to have i think all the packages that you can include on this including the executive package which has these um, to block out the view from coming in also the rear one it opens up but it also comes with the entertainment in the back these things are huge they look like ipads So you can adjust each one. The sound system is amazing. It's a Bowers and Wilkins. Sounds real good. But what I love most about this vehicle is how it sounds and it's stock. Show you guys the engine. This is the badge, Frozen Arctic Gray from BMW. And like I mentioned, this, uh, this certain spec was made in Germany. And uh, it actually belonged to a colonel in the army. He was stationed out there. He got moved over here where we're at and um, he traded it in. He said that something like this, he can't really use this here. Of course, I mean, 
you're in Germany, the Autobahn, right? You can't compare it. But look at how beautiful this sheen is. And I just finished detailing it yesterday. It had really, really bad water, uh, water spots or water damage on the paint. So if you're not familiar with this type of paint, you have to be very careful with this paint. You can't run this type of vehicle through a regular car wash because the i guess the the spinning brushes and they'll damage the paint and once this type of paint is damaged it's very hard to repair it so look at the per the pearlescent finish it has like different tones when the sun hits it you can see a little bit of like a little purple tone but i'll show you guys where there's already some scratches and those can never be repaired so if you can see right there these little scratches unfortunately they're never going to be able to be fixed i think the previous owner he would close it with his hand and maybe his ring would rub but I don't know why he would do that. All you gotta do is push this button right here, closes automatically. So as you guys heard, that was a cold start from the factory exhaust. The factory exhaust sounds amazing. What I love about this exhaust, what the exhaust like this, it's a tuned exhaust. But what I love about it is that once you step on it and the turbos kick in and you let, let off, I guess with the backfire, it crackles and you can hear it. And it sounds absolutely amazing. So this is my setting M2 where if you can see there i have it in sport sport and i always switch the steering to sport it does have the option for sport plus which i guess if you look at it in my track hawk uh that would be i guess sport plus would be track mode and it's all wheel drive you can see right there it says four wheel drive but you can also switch that off and make it um rear wheel drive the attention to detail on this vehicle is just insane you can see the m and it kind of has like m little patterns right here with the three different colors from the bmw m the seat belt also i guess you could say the same coloring the m lights up at night and it looks beautiful and it also lights up right there and like i mentioned these seats are they are just really crazy you can um you can see right there where you can switch different different options right there i'm messing with the width so if you're somebody that's a little bit on the heavier side this vehicle these bucket seats will accommodate you uh another thing that i do like about these seats not that i would use it a lot but mostly i care about if they're leather seats that they have ac seats but if you press that button right there it will also give you a massage luckily i went to the chemical guys uh detail garage here in el paso and they were able to to give me a, a water spot remover and it worked fantastic it does have the suede up here like the track hawk very beautiful I, I don't think i mentioned this that it has the carbon fiber the carbon fiber roof it's an awesome car especially if you're an executive I'm going to show you guys right now, I'll attach the GoPro to the back and I'll accelerate a little bit on a run and so you guys could hear the stock exhaust. So I think this, like I mentioned that this car is just a little bit faster than the Trackhawk. I'm not sure, but my Trackhawk has the intake exhaust and I'm going to plan to do some other things to it. 
unfortunately this isn't my vehicle this isn't mine but it's a acquisition to somebody really close to my family so I guess I'm the one that's gonna be taking care of it we did have a, a little bit of issues let me turn off the the car because the exhaust is a little bit loud <clears throat> we're having a little bit of issues with the brakes I don't know if you can see this but it's already forming like a little lip and like the trackhawk uh, brake pads the original brake pads they do release a lot of dust so I, I cleaned this yesterday I took the family to go eat for dinner and uh, you can see all the dust it released so we're gonna be switching these out to some Kevlar ceramic brake pads and maybe turning these at the dealership and hopefully that'll solve the brake dust issue So there you guys have it i hope you guys enjoyed this video this beautiful m5 competition if you guys like this stuff please hit that like share thank you guys peace i'm out